talk a little bit about canning today. So first off, when it comes to, to canning, we do have a lot of utilities that we need to use. So these two right here are compressed air. And then this is this big guy right here. That's our uh, 30 amp, 240 volt line that goes to the actual canning line. Um, can't really point out where, but um, we have some airlines that come through. So you can see these are airlines go to our hose reels. And then uh, we have a water, uh, water drop right here. Cans come down. There's some of them on the scissor lift. They get rinsed to the twist rinse. And then they go right into the canning line right there. So you've got these heads that get foam on it. And they come running through here. Every once in a while it skips a lid. Ryan's grabbing it right now. It goes through our seamer. The seamer actually senses how much pressure is on each can. Hopefully not over seam it or under seam it. And then we have a little tunnel, which, uh, rinses and sort of dries the cans. This is our labeler. Sometimes it works. And then each can gets a date a canned on, helps us track when we made the beer. And then we get four pack holders. We have some right there. So that's the essence of how it is for us to can. Um, we have a crew of four, and we just do that on longer canning runs. Uh, we have run this canning line with as little as two people, but uh, three to four seems to be the sweet spot. Uh, it allows us to um, can some, we've done up to like 150 cases in about six hours. So that's pretty good for a brewery our size, but I um, hope you enjoyed a little tour of what's going on with the canning line. Cheers.